McKay's career and was produced after many years of experiments and trials, assisted by Hedley Taylor. It set a world record for harvesting grain when in 1938 it harvested 3,300 bushels of wheat in one day. With its 12-foot front, it could easily cover 50 acres in a day. Between 1924 and 1945, over 1,300 were built at the Sunshine Factory in Melbourne. They were sold to the local market and also exported to Canada and the USA. A Fordson 32 horsepower overhead valve type cylinder motor was the power source in the early machines, as this header was. It would consume two gallons of petrol per hour. It was a three wheeled machine with a small wheel at the back for steering and two large wheels, one of which propelled the machine. The engine also drove the thrashing mechanism, knife, spirals and elevator. It even had a power lift for raising and lowering the comb. It could travel at two speeds, three miles per hour for light crops and two miles per hour for heavy and down crops. At the faster speed, it could harvest four acres per hour. This forward-thinking farmer, Bert Kavanagh, even improved his machine by making a tin roof over the whole machine, as well as installing his own personal fan. This WA-type machine had provision for the bagging out of 14 bags while harvesting continued, and the bags are unloaded when that number was reached. The WB-type had a bulk 50 bushel grain bin, and this machine was exported. The WT-type had a tipping platform for dumping sewn bags, therefore saving time. It was the Hugh McKay auto header that set the trend for future harvesting the world over.